Hi to all my St. Paul Hang Glider friends. I'm Sister Jackson. I just want to welcome you back to Awana. Today, I've been thinking about bridges. Have you ever crossed a bridge before? I bet you said yes, because we have several bridges in Peoria. If you live in Peoria, here's an example. One of the bridges in Peoria. Isn't that beautiful? Well, why are there bridges? Did you notice that in the bridge in Peoria that there is some water underneath the bridge? And a bridge allows us to go from one place on the land to another, even though there's an obstacle or water in this case underneath. So the bridge helps us to get from one place to another. Well, my friend, that's exactly what our lesson is about today. We're going to learn that Jesus is our bridge to God in heaven. Before we go to our lesson, let's open up in prayer. God, we thank you and praise you for this day. Thank you for Awana. God, I pray that you be with me as I teach your children this lesson. Please help your children to know that Jesus is the bridge to their life forever with Jesus. Today's lesson comes from John 3, 16. You know part of the verse because we learned it last week. And it goes, for God so loved the world. My friends, do you remember when we talked about world, what are we talking about? Did we say that God loves the, the earth and all, all the land and the continents? Or were, did we say that God loves the world, all the people of the world? That's right. God loves all the people of the world. And then scripture says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son. Who is his son? That's right, Jesus. Jesus Christ is God's son. Why did God give us his son? God gave us his son because of this three letter word right here called sin. Do you know what sin is? That's right, it's anything you think, say, or do that displeases God or breaks his heart. That's what sin is. This is a sign language for sin. Can everyone do this? And then say sin. Did you know that God cannot be in the presence of sin? Because our God is a holy God and he cannot be in the presence of sin. And scripture tells us that we all sin. I sin, you sin, our parents sin, our teachers, our leaders, they all, we all sin. And that's why this little girl right here is sad. Do you see her face? She's sad. She's over here because because of her sin and because of our sin, we have to be separated from God and we can't get to God. We are separated from God because of our sin. And did you know that the Bible tells us that the penalty or the cost for sin is death? And that's why we're over here because of, of our sin, the cost of our sin is death. And this is the type of death that means that you're um, separated from God spiritually. And this little girl is sad because how can she get to God? There's good news in our scripture. Again, our scripture is John 3, 16, and it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. 
he gave us Jesus Christ. And this is the good news, this part of it. It says that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish or shall not die, but have eternal life. Eternal life means to live forever and ever and ever with Jesus. Isn't that good news? So God sent his son. The reason God sent his son was so that Jesus could be our bridge. Because see, we need a bridge. We need something to help us or someone to help us to get from death over here to life with God. And Jesus, because Jesus was the perfect one, he never sinned. So Jesus took our sin for us. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sin and for your sin and for the whole world's sin so that he could be that bridge to help us to get from death to life. Now, you can't just cross over from death to life. You can't get to God because of your good works, because you're a nice person or that you like helping people. That cannot get you to heaven because you still sin. And so you still have to stay over here. But scripture says, if we believe in Jesus, if we put our trust in Jesus, then we can move from death to life. So this little girl, she was sad because she was on the side of death. But you know what? Because she put her trust in Jesus and she believed that Jesus died on the cross for her sin, she is now happy. And she can cross from death over here because of her sins, but because Jesus Christ took her sins and she believes it, she gets to walk across the bridge, walk across the bridge that Jesus made for us and walk to life. And now this little girl can have life with God forever and ever and ever and that's eternal life and my friends this can be the same for you too if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin and that he rose on the third day and that he took your sin and if you put your faith and trust in Jesus you too can cross over the bridge, cross over from death, and cross over to life. Let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the message about Jesus being our bridge to you, Lord, our bridge to life. God, I pray that every child and everyone listening to this message puts their trust in you, that they believe in Jesus, so that they too may have eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. I'll see you next, next week. Now, my friends, I want us to practice our memory verse. Remember, it comes from John 3.16. And last week we learned the first part of John 3.16. Today I'm going to teach you the sign language for the second part of John 3.16. And it goes like this. This is that, okay, that, and then it goes whoever, and then this is believes, okay, that whoever believes, and then we're going to point up for him and look up in him. Let's try that part again. That whoever believes in him, and this is shall not, and then this is perish. Stray hands down and turn it over for perish. Let's try it again. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, 
but half. And then you take it in a circle, your finger, eternal, that's together, eternal, and then upside down L's, and you bring it up. All right, life. So it's eternal, and then life. Let's try that part again. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal, and then life. John 3, 16. Great job, my friends. Now we'll put the whole thing together. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Great job, my friends. My friends, for our project today, you're going to need your cardstock that says sin on it, with also our memory verse on there, John 3, 16. You'll need the cross. You'll also need the, the boy or the little girl um, that has a sad face and a happy face. You'll need some tape and some scissors. The first thing that I did was I took my scissors and I cut my person out. Uh, it doesn't matter if you choose boy or girl, but either choose one or the other. And I cut them in half like this. And I put the, I'm, I'm going to put them back to back so that their face can be seen on the outside. So I'm going to take a little piece of tape and tape it together. So that now that you can see it on either side, and then I also took another piece of tape and I taped the cross up at the top. And I'm going to have you tape the cross onto over and cover the sin, but also make sure that it's real close to the cliff. And what you'll do is, is that you'll take your little person or you can actually get a picture of you as well and you can show how this little sad girl is sad because she found out that she knows that everyone sins and and the and she is separated from God but when God loved us so much he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and if we believe in him we can cross over from death we don't have to perish but we can go over to life where we can have eternal life with God in heaven. Isn't that great news? Friends, I hope that you enjoyed doing this craft and I hope you get an opportunity to share what you've learned about John 3.16 with your parent, your guardian, or maybe even a friend. Friends, great job with your craft. Bye.